Hi, there's still some disagreement among the class over which of the articles is the most trustworthy. And when I say most trustworthy, I don't mean that one is fake news and one is true news. Just which one can we rely on? See, it all doesn't all come down to misinformation or disinformation. Misinformation is giving false information accidentally or intentionally, but it misleads. Disinformation is intentional. And we think of that in terms of fake news, real news. But in reality, most truth is on a continuum. It's like zero credibility to total credibility. How much can we trust it? And in order to determine that, we need to know who is behind the information. What kind of an organization is this? Or author is this? What is their motive? Do they have some motives that might compromise the information they give us? Why are they sharing that information? This is what we focused on so far. We also think about the claims that they're made making and if those claims are backed up by reliable evidence. And we'll do more of that next week. But right now we're still focused on how much can we trust it? Who's behind the information and why are they sharing the information? Now, the great transition is an ad. It's sponsored by Shell Oil. And we know Shell Oil makes a lot of money off, to project, off of production of fossil fuels. In fact, if we switch to alternative fuels, they stand to lose a lot of money. And so they definitely have an incentive to keep us using fossil fuels. On the other hand, they're right. Alternative fuels are very expensive. In the other article, Rao argues that climate change is so bad that we need to approach it like a war. We need to invest in the changes and we need to do them urgently. Shell Oil does not want us to do them urgently. Why? They'll lose a lot of money. They have some solid facts in that article, and it's very easy to read. Whereas Rao, he's disturbing, and he clearly cares about this issue passionately. Who's most trustworthy? I trust Rao, because I've done some research on climate change, and I believe that it's a threat to our nation. I believe that delaying until alternative fuels could be dangerous for us, but Shell Oil wouldn't want us to do that. We'll talk about this more as we go on. Have a great rest of your day.